Oh, I'm life oozing away. I'm sending you. Die, vampire! Oh. Die! Die! Back off, bloodsucker! I'm sending you to hell! From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, October 1999. Damn! The Zamitsi drove us off my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Friar Ignatius insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Viserat Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wards. I dislike his holier-than-thou attitude and don't miss him very much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruins. From the Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. God has blessed me with my greatest prize, an ancient vampire still sleeping in deep torpor. He's a blaspheming heretic who wears the red cross of a crusader to mock all that is holy. I'll enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate, where I'll bind him and fatten him on fresh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi, who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, 
except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London, and from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Hello, filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius, and I have killed bloodsuckers like you for two hundred years. I have no wish to fight thee. Then give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred, vintage twelfth century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place, but I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. You can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are nothing. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure for eight hundred years to die at thy behest. Oh. You're going back into the world, ah, kindred, to provide me with a lifetime supply of fresh feet, eh? Yeah. Ah. <coughs> yeah. Journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments untraceable. Still, once the blood of my sleeping vampire courses through my veins, I'll find them and crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Fukudluck in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. Of course, I don't mean all vampires. I'll require a well-maintained flock of imprisoned vampires to keep me supplied with blood. And I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. This will take time, but I have all the time in the world. My first three hundred years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the Earth! Tomorrow we try to feed the vampire without awakening him.
Who, who's that? 